Finally, hundreds of Falklands veterans lined up in Whitehall today to call for the bravery of one fallen comrade to be recognised. Paratrooper Stuart McLaughlin died during the Battle of Mount Longdon in 1982. His heroics have become legend, but because of a bureaucratic mix-up, he was never awarded a medal for gallantry. Veterans told Richard Pallet why it's time that was finally put right. The motto of the Parachute Regiment is ready for anything, and under the watchful eye of a wise old Company Sergeant Major, they were ready to fight once again. Hundreds marching through Whitehall to seek recognition for Corporal Stuart McLaughlin, more than three decades after his death in the Falklands. It is legendary what he done, and the fact that the man didn't receive recognition is a travesty of justice as far as we're concerned, and something that we really are determined to put right. The battle for Mount Longdon was the bloodiest land battle of that war, absolutely pivotal in eventual British success. So was Corporal McLaughlin's heroism, running towards Argentinian machine guns across open ground in order to rout enemy positions. He was one of many casualties. We lost 23 men on Mount Longdon, 47 men were wounded, it was a bitter battle. Um, I was one of eight soldiers in Corporal McLaughlin's section. Um, he died and sent seven of us home. Um, I don't feel I would be home without his leadership that night. What galls McLaughlin's family is that his commanding officer at the time did put him forward for a medal, but the citation was lost. And with the award system debarring retrospective action, that's why they marched on Downing Street, seeking change. Emotions are running quite high, but it's, the turnout's been exactly what we expected. We knew there was tremendous support, so let's like say, let's just see if we get the right answer. But tonight, the government told us any changes now would undermine the integrity of the awards and devalue those held by others. Their battle for a Victoria Cross for their fallen comrade, however, will continue. This is a regiment not beaten easily. Richard Palo, ITV News, Whitehall. And that's it from tonight's ITV News. Hundreds of paratroopers who fought in the Falklands War have marched on Downing Street to demand recognition for one of their number. Corporal Stuart McLaughlin of Three Para died after the Battle of Mount Longdon, following extraordinary courage under fire. He was put forward for a gallantry medal, but the written citation needed to award it was never received. Our welfare reporter, Victoria Smith, has the story. A slow march for one of the fallen. 27-year-old Corporal Stuart McLaughlin was nicknamed Bulletproof after leading a series of daredevil charges during the devastating Battle of Mount Longdon. He saved the lives of many of his colleagues and helped secure the capture of Mount Longdon. Two days later, UK soldiers forced the Argentinians to surrender. These veterans have been campaigning for 32 years for recognition for Corporal McLaughlin and his courage, duty and leadership. They're taking a petition to number 10 and a copy of the citation rewritten in 1982 calling for Corporal McLaughlin to get a medal for gallantry. The original citation was never received by the MOD and so a medal was never awarded. The British typewriter had gone uh, pear-shaped and so they uh, purloined uh, a Argentinian Olivetti typewriter and they used that to type all the citations for the, uh, the men of Three Para. When a signal came down said all the citations that have been typed up are being typed on the wrong paper. They need to be typed up on the correct army form ABC 123. I don't know the exact number. With that, and this is noted in the Three Para War Diary, with that uh, there was a lot of consternation Paperwork got shuffled and messed around, and it's at that point Stuart's citation was lost. Friends and family believe he should have been given a Victoria Cross. In order to get his young section up and into safety, he stood up when all this fire was coming around him and said, follow me, lads, I'm bulletproof, which they did, and they went to safety, and they all, all survived the battle for Mount Longdon. The veterans hope the petition and the new citation will persuade David Cameron to intervene, where the Ministry of Defence have not. In a statement, they told us... 
Corporal Stuart McLaughlin displayed outstanding courage and leadership during the Falklands campaign, in which he paid the ultimate sacrifice, and our thoughts remain with his family. Citations for operational gallantry awards are written at the time of the operation, and there are clear opportunities to ensure any omissions are addressed at the time. Any changes now would undermine the integrity of the awards and devalue those held by others. But those at the Battle of Mount Longdon, where 23 paras died, say changes should be made. We didn't realise at the time that we were going to cross a minefield, and that's what initiated the battle when Corporal Milne trod on this mine, which initiated the battle. Thankfully, the, sorry, thankfully the uh, Argentinians weren't fully alert as we were, and we had about 400 metres to get into cover, of which we skirmished forward and did so. The new citation, written by Corporal McLaughlin's CO, is unprecedented, but his supporters hope the Prime Minister can be persuaded to make an extraordinary award for someone they say was an extraordinary man. Victoria Smith, Forces News, London. They took my voice Erased my past With all that noise It couldn't last With what's so cruel I washed my face I hope one day I'd wake up in a better place Thank you. 
yourself I know you heard my cry for hell I know you heard I was going through hell I know you heard I was losing my mind I know you heard it was a matter of time I know you heard I know you heard Yeah, I know you heard I know you heard
get stronger too. Our love will never die like me.